Hi there, my name is Ben and I'm a volcanologist at the University of Manchester. Today I'd like to talk you through a little experiment that you can do at home to simulate your very own volcanic eruption. Before we get into the nitty gritty of what we're going to do today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the science behind why volcanoes erupt. Now, volcanoes are basically just holes in the ground where magma can, from the inside of the earth can be erupted onto the surface in the form of lava. This magma starts very, very deep within the earth and then is brought up to the surface over time before eventually it reaches the surface and it can erupt. Now, when it's deep, deep under the ground, there's lots of gases that are dissolved inside this magma because of the really, really high pressure. Now, you may understand this if you've ever swum underwater and you can feel the pressure pressing on your ears. Well, it's exactly the same thing. Deep underground, the pressure builds and you can cram more and more gases inside your magma. But as your magma is brought up to the surface, that pressure really drops and those gases can start to bubble out. Very much like when you crack open a can of a fizzy drink and all the bubbles of the carbon dioxide that's dissolved inside are released and they can froth out. So we're going to simulate this today by using uh, a very simple analog experiment. We volcanologists love our analog experiments. Uh, and today we're going to be using uh, this stuff, which is bicarbonate of soda. This is a little uh, a baking ingredient that you can buy in the shops. And we're going to be mixing it uh, with a little bit of vinegar. Now you may have done this before, you may have seen this before. Um, but what, so what actually is going on here when we mix these two? Well. The bicarbonate soda is a weak alkali, whereas the vinegar contains acetic acid, which is a, a fairly weak acid. And when we mix these two together, they react and release a gas called carbon dioxide. So this is how we're going to sort of simulate uh, bringing our rocks up to the surface and then releasing their gas by mixing these two together. So what are you going to need to do for this experiment? Well. We start with uh, one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, and what we're going to do is we're going to add one tablespoon of washing up liquid to that. Now this is just to give it some extra bubbles. So I'll pop that in here. And in addition, just to bulk it out a little bit, we're going to add two tablespoons of water to the mix as well. So here we go, this is my bicarbonate soda washing up liquid and water mix, and we're just going to give that a good stir to mix it all together nicely like that. Now I've actually already mixed my, uh, my vinegar here with a little bit of food colouring to give it a bit of a red tinge to, to make our lava colour or our magma colour. Um, if you are using food colouring, it can stain, so please be careful where you do this experiment. Maybe do it outside or within something like a washing up bowl that can catch it, so it doesn't stain any surfaces. You can also use some uh, washable paints or uh, anything else to colour this, or you can leave it without the colour as well, if you'd like. So, I'm not going to do this experiment inside, I'm going to take this outside, so we'll cut outside and see what we can do out there. So when we mix our bicarbonate of soda and our vinegar together, they react, releasing carbon dioxide. And you can see that in the lots of little bubbles that you can see in our, in our lava flow as it's erupting from our volcano. And it's this gas that drives the eruption, but in this case, what we call an effusive eruption, that gas is able to get away. There was a little bit of a, a jet at the start, you might have been able to see, uh, but gen generally it was quite a gentle eruption. And this is what we call an effusive eruption. Now, broadly speaking, in, in volcanic eruptions, there are two types. 
there's the gentle effusive eruption, and there's the more violent explosive eruptions, and they're a lot more uh, dangerous. Um, the main difference between the two is how the gas is released. In an effusive eruption, the gas is able to bubble out from our lava and get away, so it's not carrying the lava with it and throwing it into the air. Whereas for an explosive eruption, that gas can't release and it, is, and it drags the lava up with it, or the magma, and then when it's erupted, the lava up with it, forming these towering eruption columns that you may have seen from the more uh, violent explosive eruptions in the past. Mm -hmm.